understand what life is all about. Because my passion, as you know, is teaching the ukulele. But my main passion in life is helping kids and adults through our inner struggle. I will go anywhere on Oahu or the outer islands if someone calls me to talk to children. And they don't have to pay me. I just go. I'll go there, talk to the kids, and come back. And this is a song that I wrote 41 years ago in my deepest loneliness because I struggled as a child. I really struggled. I didn't like who I am so much that I can remember as a youngster looking up at the sky and saying, I hate you, God. I hate you. And I was saying those words because I was hurting so much inside. I didn't like who I was. I thought I was a freak. And it's incredible that I went into music because I cannot hear in one ear. My right ear, I was born with a birth defect, and it's smaller than my left ear. And kids used to tease me and hurt me so much, I started cutting out from kindergarten. By the third grade or second grade, I was smoking, I was drinking, I went to detention home, I've been interrogated by police, FBI, and I never wanted to hurt, and I never hurt anybody, but I was hurting inside, so I made bad choices. But when I was in my young 20s, I picked up my youth and never singing, I sang this song, and I believe it's divine intervention because this song has brought so much healing to so many kids in Hawaii. When I end with my talk, I sing this song, and it brings tears to so, so many kids. And when I walk out, sometimes the entire auditorium, I would say 90%, come up and they hug me. This is the song, and it's called I Am What I Am. And it goes like this. I am what I am, I'll be what I'll be, look, can't you see, that it's me, all of me, I am what I am, I'll be what I'll be, look, can't you see, that it's me, and uh, I always ask kids, what does this mean to them, a first grader said, raised their hand and said, it means that I can stop pretending to be like my girlfriend and I'm going to be who I am. It tells us how young children start pretending because something about themselves, they, they don't feel satisfied, but they're all special. We're all special, but sometimes people hurt us and they stomp on our hearts and then we start not believing in who we are. So in the workshop, I told people, when, and I told the kids, when someone says something hurtful to you, it is not meant for you. It is coming from a hurtful place in them. So let the words always pass you. You'll know if it went into you. Because if the next day you're upset, three days later you're still upset at that person, then you know that you put the words in you. And I teach children to let the words pass because it wasn't meant for you. Can we end? Can all of you sing with me? I am what I am. Okay? So it goes, I am what I am. It goes, I am what I am. I'll be, I'll be you. Here we go. I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. I'll be what I'll be. Look as you see that it's me. All of, I am what I am again. I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see that it's me? Look, can't you see? Here we go. Look, can't you see that it's me? To many of your parents, grandparents, I'm going to end with this one last message is that I, I go to schools and I ask the kids midway through my talk, it's about an hour long, I ask the kids, how many of you are hurting inside? How many of you have struggles that you struggle with every day and your 